guys, this is from Endless RVing. I am here out at Intech with Keith. You may remember Keith, you may look familiar because we did a video with him down in Tampa on the Terra Oasis and it was so popular we had to come up here to see how Intech manufactures their trailers. So we're gonna link that video above. This video is gonna be mostly Keith taking us through the factory, showing why Intech One builds one of the best trailers on the RV market. All right, so we're back in our weld shop here at Intech, and this is one of the things that really sets an Intech apart from most other manufacturers. We actually weld up our own solid aluminum chassis. So if you look over here on our frame table, you'll see the guys actually cut, they've already cut all the aluminum, and they're welding all this together. Now most frames are gonna be steel, and often they're purchased from a, another supplier. We try to control all that quality and do that here in-house. After you see that, you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna see a fully welded cage now all placed together on top of that chassis. So the cool thing about this design is most RVs are gonna have a laminated sidewall. So the way they would build them is you would take a steel chassis, you would roll it down your construction line, you would add your cabinetry and everything to it, and then your walls get stapled or screwed on afterwards. Here you're gonna see a solid cage construction that's all welded together. So when this unit's rolling down the road, it's not twisting, independently from each other. The walls aren't trying to pull apart. All this is one solid construction. All right, so here we've come to the start of our production line. At this point, we'll install a three quarter inch dry max flooring. On the underside of that, we put a plastic go guard. So all that flooring is completely protected from the elements in the water. On top, we use an infinity woven flooring. That's a boat style floor, so it's very durable and easy to clean. Also in this stage of the production, you'll see they'll go through, they'll punch holes through the frame for all of our wires to run. All the holes throughout that are gonna have grommets around it to make sure there's no chafing and the uh, wires can't be shorted out. Next we move to the interior wall section. So these interior walls, you'll see we use a Luon board. It is then backed with a uh, bubble foil insulation. Overall insulation value on the Intex, you get about an R6, R7, because you have your bubble foil, and then when the fiberglass wall goes on, you'll have a one inch air barrier there as well to add insulation. Another thing you'll notice on these units, since we are working inside this cage frame already, you're only gonna see about one to two guys working in them per station. And that kind of helps control the quality a little bit. You don't have guys stumbling over each other, but there's just not quite as much room in these units either because your walls are already in place. All right, so here we're gonna start installing the cabinetry. All of our cabinetry is made in-house. So most all of the curved pieces are CNC cut and then installed. A nice thing here again about our structure, when we talked about having that one piece frame, a lot of people have had RVs before where after they run them up for a little while, things are twisting around, doors don't shut together all that well. Well here you're looking at cabinetry that's all connected to the structure of the unit. So as this unit's bouncing down the road, you're not gonna have cabinetry issues, you're not gonna have doors lining up uh, improperly. So back here we're in our cabinet shop. So like I mentioned earlier, everything is custom made for our products. It gives us a lot of control once again to try and maintain the quality to our standards. Most everything gets laminated upstairs. We do a laminate over a melamine or a lumber core board. We bring it down here, it goes through the CNC machine and gets cut. And then our guys assemble the parts and pieces and feed them off to the production line. So here your exterior sidewalls are going on the units. Our sidewalls are fiberglass over Asdale. So you're all composite on the exterior of it. And then you have a roof that'll go on that's a one solid piece of fiberglass that extends from the cap all the way back to the rear bumper. So now we move over to our roof scaffolding area. So there's scaffold up above us that drops down over these units for the guys to get on, install the roof. They'll also put your fiberglass front cap on. So up to this point, the front of the unit's been wide open and then this custom molded front cap that has your uh, windshield in it all goes on here. Another section I can show you guys how the cap is prepped and put together. 
So our front cap and windshield design is all custom made. So we have a custom molded front cap that gets made. And from there, we create this piece of glass that is the front windshield on our sole product. This is a three-ply laminated glass, so it's just like a car windshield. We also provide a windshield cover to go over the top of it to protect it from rock chips or anything like that. Over in this section, you'll see the guys, they'll prepare the glass. We'll have some caps over here that they'll be prepping and then it's a, a glue-in process that sets that glass down into the cap and we let it sit for about six hours to fully adhere to the cap. So now we're at the final phase here and this is a Soul Rover. I did notice a couple things. Some of the uh, employees were taking pictures. You want to explain what that's about? So at the end of the process, we'll have the guys go through and document and take photos of the whole unit. So that way after it leaves, we know exactly every part and piece that was on that unit and how it was completed and finished. And now is there a final PDI that it goes through? Or is that kind of cumulative throughout the line? That is cumulative throughout the line. I mean, it does here at the final finish have a guy that goes through and just inspects the operations and working of everything. But again, we do hold all the guys down the line responsible to keep that quality high. So it's pretty impressive what goes on here. You know, thank you for taking the time, Keith. I'm sure the viewers are going to be really uh, excited to see, you know, what they're paying for, you know, because this is really a top quality product. So in the comments below, let us know, do you own an Intech product? If you do, which product do you own? And what is your feedback on it? We want to know. Put it in the comments below. And for myself, Keith, MJ, Jason's in the back. We thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.